and I beheld a rod of iron. And it extended along the bank of the river and led to the tree by which I stood. And I also beheld a straight and narrow path which came along by the rod of iron even to the tree by which I stood. And it also led by the head of the fountain unto a large and spacious field as if it had been a world. And I saw numberless concourses of people, many of whom were pressing forward, that they might obtain the path which led unto the tree. And it came to pass that there arose a mist of darkness, yea, even an exceedingly great mist of darkness, insomuch that they who had commenced on the path did lose their way, that they wandered off and were lost. I beheld others pressing forward, and they came forth and caught hold of the end of the rod of iron. And they did press forward through the mist of darkness, clinging to the rod of iron, even until they did come forth and partake of the fruit of the tree. I beheld on the other side of the river of water a great and spacious building, and it stood as it were in the air, high above the earth. And it was filled with people, both old and young, both male and female, and their manner of dress was exceedingly fine. And they were in the attitude of mocking and pointing their fingers towards those who had come at and were partaking of the fruit. And after they had partaken of the fruit of the tree, they did cast their eyes about as if they were ashamed because of those that were scoffing at them. And they fell away into forbidden paths and were lost. I saw other multitudes pressing forward, and they came and caught hold of the end of the rod of iron, and they did press their way forward, continually holding fast to the rod of iron, until they came forth and fell down and partook of the fruit of the tree. Many were drowned in the depths of the fountain. And many were lost from view, wandering in strange roads. And great was the multitude that did enter into that strange building. And after they did enter into that building, they did point the finger of scorn at me and those that were partaking of the fruit also. But we heeded them not. For as many as heeded them had fallen away. Simon. I feel.
Simon and Lemuel partook not of the fruit. exceedingly for you, my sons. And I plead with you, hearken to my words that perhaps the Lord will be merciful and not cast you off. Please, keep the commandments of the Lord. Stay on the path. The Lord will provide. Be prayerful. Be safe. Do not worry. We will find food. How? Your bows having lost their spring. Layman! I tell you again, we will find food. You draw so hard. What is the matter with you? Now what will we do? Father, because of our brother's strength and God's curse upon us, we are without food. Oh. Where shall we go for food now? Great leader. We have been prayerful. Obedient, we have done all we have been commanded to do. What more could we have done? Why? Why has the Lord chosen now to abandon us? The Lord will provide. <laughs> the Lord will provide! The Lord has led us out here to perish. We don't need the Lord. We need food! Do not revile against the Lord! He has delivered us thus far, he will do so again. You have hardened your hearts again, even unto complaining against the Lord. The Lord will provide. No. Father's correct. The Lord has abandoned us.
What is that fool doing? Father. Whither shall I go to obtain food? Omar son. Thank you for your faith. Forgive me. The Lord told me to look upon the ball and behold the things which are written. Is this possible? What is it? There are new writings. The pointers which are in the ball, they work according to the faith and diligence and heed which we give unto them. give thee thanks. May we remember that with great faith and diligence and through small means thou canst bring about great things.
make thy food become sweet, that ye cook it not. I will also be your light in the wilderness, and I will prepare the way before you, if it so be that ye shall keep my commandments. Wherefore, inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall be led towards the promised land, and ye shall know that it is by me that ye are led. Beautiful and rich. It is a bountiful land. Nephi, arise. Get thee into the mountain. What is thy will, Lord? Thou shalt construct a ship, after the manner which I shall show thee, that I may carry thy people across these waters. Whither shall I go, that I may find ore to molten, that I may make tools to construct the ship after the manner which thou hast shown unto me? What are you doing? Making tools. Four?
The Lord has commanded me in a vision and has shown me how to build a ship to carry our people across these waters. <laughs> <laughs> Nephi, this is madness. Working together, we can be... You will get no help from us. Here we have found a land of promise. Here we will stay. We know that ye cannot construct a ship. Thou art like unto our father, led away by the foolish imaginations of his heart. He hath led us out of the land of Jerusalem, and we have wandered in the wilderness these many years. And our women? Our women have toiled, and they have borne children in the wilderness and suffered all things save it were death. It would have been better that they had died before they came out of Jerusalem than to have suffered these afflictions. These many years we have suffered in the wilderness, which time we might have enjoyed our possessions and the land of our inheritance. And we might have been happy. The people of Jerusalem were about to be... The a... people who were in the land of Jerusalem were a righteous people. They kept the statutes and judgments of the Lord and all his commandments according to the law of Moses. Do you believe that our fathers would have been led away out of the hands of the Egyptians if the Lord had not commanded Moses that he should lead them out of bondage? That has nothing to do with this. You know that Moses was commanded of the Lord to do that great work. And you know that by his word, the waters of the Red Sea were divided, and they passed through on dry ground. You are not Moses, and this is not the Red Sea. You are swift to do iniquity, but slow to remember the Lord your God. You have seen an angel, and he spake unto you. Ye have heard his voice, and he hath spoken unto you in still small voice, but ye were past feeling that he could not feel his words. Why is it that ye can be so hard in your hearts? My soul is rent with anguish because of you, and my heart is pained. I fear lest ye shall be cast off forever. I am filled with the Spirit of God, and so much my frame has no strength. In the name of the Almighty God, I command you that ye touch me not! For I am filled with the power of God, even unto the consuming of my flesh. And whoso shall lay his hands upon me shall wither even as a dried reed. And they shall be as not before the power of God, for God shall smite him. Murmur no more against our Father. And do not withhold your labor from me. For God has commanded me that I should build a ship. If the Lord had commanded me to do all things, I could do them. If the Lord hath such great power, and hath wrought so many miracles, then how is he cannot instruct me that I should build a ship? to thy brethren, and I will shock them, that they may know that I am the Lord their God. brother, wherefore worship the Lord thy God, and honor thy father and thy mother.
us to the promised land. Stars, Jacob. Hey, get out of there. <laughs> Raymond, tell me. Mm. What do you think of this sturdy, fine ship we have built? We have built. You mean to see the ship I have built? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tug. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See his face? <laughs> <laughs> this is righteous <laughs> Um, wine. forget by what power we have been brought here. I fear exceedingly lest the Lord should be angry with us. Nephi fears exceedingly lest the Lord should be angry with us. Go below. Lame. 
I fear lest he should smite us because of our iniquity. We will not that our younger brother should be a ruler over us. forth his power unto the fulfillment of his word, which he hath spoken concerning, concerning the wicked.
storm has beaten us for four days. We cannot withstand any more. You, you must end this. Thank thee, Father, for delivering me from my bonds. According to our faith and obedience, I thought you see how the others. Whether it's the food or the final promise not. Joseph, the Lord has commanded me to make plates of war for the instruction of our people. Levi, Jacob, everyone come. Your father wishes to speak to you. I have seen a vision in which I know that Jerusalem is destroyed. And had we remained in Jerusalem, we should also have perished. Notwithstanding our afflictions, we have obtained a land of promise, a land which is choice above all other lands. Wherefore, this land is consecrated unto him whom the Lord shall bring. And if they shall keep his commandments, they shall be blessed upon the face of this land. But behold, when the time cometh that they shall dwindle in unbelief, 
after they have received so great blessings from the hand of the Lord, if the day shall come that they will reject the Holy One of Israel, the true Messiah, their Redeemer and their God, behold the judgments of him that is just shall rest upon them. Awake and arise from the dust and hear the words of a trembling parent. My heart hath been weighed down with sorrow, for I have feared lest for the hardness of your hearts that the Lord your God should come out in the fullness of his wrath upon you, that ye be cut off and destroyed forever. Rebel no more against your brother, whose views have been glorious, and who hath been an instrument in the hands of God in bringing us forth into the land of promise. For were it not for him, we must have perished with hunger in the wilderness. Nevertheless, ye sought to take away his life. Yea, and he hath suffered much sorrow because of you. But if ye will not hearken unto him, I take away my first blessing and it shall rest upon him. <laughs> and now, Jacob. Father? I speak unto you. Thou art my firstborn in the days of my tribulation in the wilderness. Thou knowest the greatness of God, and he shall consecrate thine afflictions for thy gain. I know that thou art redeemed because of the righteousness of thy Redeemer, and thou hast beheld in thy youth his glory, and the Spirit is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the way is prepared from the fall of man, and salvation is free. Men are instructed sufficiently that they know good from evil. By the temporal law they were cut off. By the spiritual law they perish from that which is good, and they become miserable forever. Wherefore, redemption cometh in and through the Holy Messiah, for he is full of grace and truth. Behold, he offereth himself a sacrifice for sin, to answer the ends of the law unto all those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Wherefore, how great the importance to make these things known unto the inhabitants of the earth. Jacob, there is no flesh that can dwell in the presence of God, save it be through the merits and mercy and grace of the Holy Messiah, who layeth down his life according to the flesh, and taketh it again by the power of the Spirit, that he may bring to pass the resurrection of the dead, being the first that should rise. For it must needs be that there is an opposition in all things. But Father, why? If not so, righteousness could not be brought to pass. Neither wickedness, neither holiness nor misery neither good nor bad. The 
Lord God gave unto man, that he should act for himself, according to the things which I have read. An angel of God had fallen from heaven, wherefore he became a devil, having sought that which was evil before God. And because he had fallen from heaven and had become miserable forever, he sought also the misery of all mankind. Wherefore he said unto Eve, Partake of the forbidden fruit, and ye shall not die. But ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. And after Adam and Eve had partaken of the forbidden fruit, they were driven out of the Garden of Eden to till the earth. And they have brought forth children. Tell them why this had to be. If Adam had not transgressed, he would not have fallen, but he would have remained in the Garden of Eden, and they would have had no children. Wherefore, they would have remained in a state of innocence, having no joy, for they knew no misery, doing no good, for they knew no sin. Adam fell, that men might be, and men are that they might joy and the Messiah cometh in the fullness of time that he may redeem the children of men from the fall wherefore men are free according to the flesh and they are free to choose liberty and eternal life through the great mediator of all men or to choose captivity and death according to the captivity and power of the devil my sons, I would that ye should look to the great mediator and be faithful unto his words and choose eternal life according to the will of his Holy Spirit. Joseph. I now speak unto you, Joseph, my last born. Thou art the fruit of my loins, and I am a descendant of Joseph, who was carried captive into Egypt. Who can interpret dreams for Pharaoh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you share his name. Joseph truly said, Thus saith the Lord unto me, a choice seer will I raise up out of the fruit of thy loins, and he shall be great, like unto Moses. And unto him will I give power to bring forth my word unto the seed of thy loins. And thus prophesied Joseph, saying, His name shall be called after me, and it shall be the name of his father, and by the power of the Lord, he shall bring my people unto salvation. Laman, Lemuel, I desire to speak to your children. My sons and my daughters, I cannot go down to my grave, save I should leave a blessing upon you. For behold, I know that if you are brought up in the way you should go, you will not depart from it. Wherefore, because of my blessing, the Lord God will not suffer that ye shall perish. Wherefore, he will be merciful unto you and unto your seed forever. Thou shalt not utterly be destroyed. But in the end, thy seed shall be blessed.
Gone, Nephi thinks to rule over us. We have had much trial because of him. It belongs to us to rule over this people. Let us slay him. anchor of my brethren. They seek to take away my life. Lord, what is thy will? What is it? They seek to take away my life. Or will we fight our own brothers? The Lord has warned me that we should depart from them and flee into the wilderness. because of mine iniquities. I am encompassed about because of the temptations and the sins which do so easily beset me. And when I desire to rejoice, my heart groaneth because of my sins. Nevertheless, I know in whom I have trusted. My God hath been my support. He 
hath filled me with his love, even unto the consuming of my flesh. Awake, my soul! No longer droop in sin. Rejoice in my heart, and give place no more for the enemy of my soul. Rejoice in my heart, and cry unto the Lord, and say, O Lord, I will praise thee forever. Yea, my soul will rejoice in thee, my God, and the rock of my salvation. was with us, and we did prosper exceedingly, and we did observe to keep the judgments and the statutes and the commandments of the Lord. And we began to raise flocks and herds and animals of every kind, and I did cause my people to be industrious and to labor with their hands. And I did build a temple, and I did construct it after the manner of the temple of Solomon, so that we're not built of so many precious things. And I, Nephi, did take the sword of Laban. And after the manner of it, did make many swords. Lest by any means the people who were now called the Lamanites should come upon us and destroy us. And the Lord God said unto me, Make other plates, and thou shalt engrave in many things upon them which are good in my sight. Nephi. Jacob. And I did consecrate Jacob and Joseph, that they should be priests and teachers over the land of my people. And it came to pass that we began to prosper exceedingly, and to multiply in the land. And thirty years had passed away from the time we left Jerusalem. And we lived after the manner of happiness. great anxiety for our people. I am desirous for the welfare of their souls. Teach them the words of Isaiah. And speak unto them for their sakes. The Lord has shown me that those who were at Jerusalem from whence we came have been slain and carried away captive. Nevertheless, the Lord has shown unto me that they should return again and he will be merciful unto them, that when they shall come to the knowledge of their Redeemer, they shall be gathered together again to the lands of their inheritance. And there are many things which have been spoken by Isaiah, which may be likened unto you, because ye are of the house of Israel. For the Lord God will fulfill his covenants, which he has made unto his children. And for this cause, the prophet has written these things. I have read these things, that ye might know that he has covenanted with all the house of Israel. I know that ye know that our flesh must waste away and die. Nevertheless, in our bodies we shall see God. I do not understand. 
How can our flesh waste away and die, but in our bodies we shall see God? As death hath passed upon all men, there must needs be a power of resurrection. And the resurrection must needs come unto man by reason of the fall. And the fall came by reason of transgression. And because man became fallen, they were cut off from the presence of the Lord. Wherefore, there must needs be an infinite atonement Oh, the wisdom of God, His mercy and grace. For behold, if the flesh should rise no more, our spirits must become subject to that angel who fell from before the presence of the eternal God and became the devil to rise no more. Oh, how great the 